Parliamo, Glasgow. Sador! Oh, God, sitting there in your simmet. It'll be hell on a fella. Is he off his work? He's took the night off. Oh, Ella's fella lumbers are him with a number, Ella. <laughs> Why the hell should Ella's fella no lumber, Ella, with a number, Ella? Let us examine now some of the more difficult words and phrases that we've used in the residence of the young man's lady friend, or Bart. Is he off his work? Note the word, is he off his? <laughs> we use this as a prefix when asking a question. If we are concerned about a person's lack of appetite, we inquire, is he off his meat? <laughs> and if we find that someone's behavioural pattern is tending towards the unorthodox, we might say, is he off his bloody chump? <laughs> Um, but the other one is about well, Zat Noah, Z E T N O A, Zat Noah Noffy Nuisance. I just thought that was brilliant. The, the inspiration for Parliama Glasgow came from a character called the Professor, and I dreamt that up for a radio show for, for Radio Scotland. My semantic and anthropological studies <laughs> last week took me to a city redolent with Celtic mysticism. I got the Soon idea that it would be great fun arrival, if a, a rather kind of a erudite professor came up from the south and looked at Glasgow characters and the Glasgow accent and everything else anthropologically, as if there were creatures that he had found in Western Samoa or something. Here, Hootie. Here, Hootie. Here, Hootie, look for apples. <laughs> Alec Mitchell, who wrote them, was wonderful about coming up with ideas. He had the professor be astonished that some of the people in Glasgow had, must have been of Chinese origin. He said, my interlocutor pointed a little man out and said, he is half foo. Suddenly, from the font, there came a clattering sound, followed by another and louder clattering sound. <laughs> All at once, a matron broke the sacred spell with the poignant call, Oro! 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 Muggs Wallace has fell up with a fall! Delightful. Delightful. I do know what Wallies are. Um, I have some myself. Um, they're false teeth. You also get Wally Dugs, which are China dogs, and you get Wally Closes, which are closes uh, tiled with porcelain type tiles. So my sister-in-law um, had been to the orthodontist and she had um, a set made of her teeth and said, have you seen my wallies? And I, I was looking for dogs. Me a farest, coat clarest, borrower a mara. At first I said, now will this only go down in Glasgow? The Edinburgh people loved it as much. I mean, Glasgow folk were laughing at themselves and the Edinburghers were laughing at Glaswegians, but it went very, very well in, in, in both cities. We would like to draw your attention to another charming word in our language. It was used when the young man noticed that a tomato had fallen from the fruit barrow. A tomato is tamaltutra barra. The important word here is tamaltutra. <laughs> fallen out of. A word new in our vocabulary stems from the permissive society. Referring to a lady and gentleman meeting for the first time, we make use of the word tumultinti. To this we add the Latin word raperorum, and so we make the interesting phrase raperorum tumultinti bed. I remember that phrase being used, you know. Your dad's drunk, he tumbled into bed. I dipped his pockets. When I went to Aberdeen, I would do a party armor Glasgow there, wondering how it would go. They loved it. And then I realised that, that Glaswegian Pater is really the lingua franca of, of, of Scottish comedy.